Well, good afternoon. I hope you all are doing well. I know it's been a long time since I've done a video. I'm going to try to make up for that this month and do several different videos. But this first one is just kind of catching up on 72 Cal. I've done quite a few different things in the last uh, three or four months since I've done a video. Uh, one of my favorites is this. It's 1260 grain pellet. Uh, it'll spread to about two and a half to three inches depending on what it hits. It's a lot of fun. Um, a lot of people have shown interest lately in these uh, wax slugs that have the uh, uh, number four buck in it. Uh, again, they typically stay somewhat together and then on impact they spread out and they do a lot of damage. I'm going to actually use one of those here in a few minutes. Uh, oh, let's see here. I've gotten into shotgun shells. Uh, what this one is, is it's got two 50 caliber balls and the rest is a number eight shot. Real high quality number eight shot. I actually use this for reloading my own shotguns. Let's see if I can get a bag without killing myself. Well, what it is, is about a year ago, I bought uh, several thousand pounds of this. It's a West Coast Premium Magnum Shot Number 8. It's uh, one of the last places doing airdrop shot, uh, shot in the West, uh, West Coast. Uh, they're out in Nevada. Anyway, really good stuff. So any of my shotgun shells that have Number 8 shot in them, that's the shot I'm using. And the actual shotgun shells are like this. They get shipped 40 at a time. I am looking for ways to make this simpler and easier. Right now, they're all handmade. They take a lot of time, and they cost a lot of money because of that. I am getting in some tooling where I think I can make them quicker and cheaper, and if so, I will pass that along. What is next? Well, flashback to the Civil War. There was a rounds called Chain Shot. And what it would be is a cannonball that had a cable hook to it, and you'd have a cannonball that would come apart or a cannonball shot from two different cannons. Mistake, but because uh, a lot of times that went really bad. And uh, when it got out there, it was devastating. So what I've made is uh, basically uh, four, five, 32 caliber balls on a small piece of uh, steel line, very much like this, uh, woven steel so it won't break. They get bent up into a little pretzel like so, and they uh, fit into the case. Extremely light, very, very devastating. They're still in the test stages. I don't have them up yet, but I do believe the current configuration is what I like, which is having uh, five of the balls on the steel cable, and it goes and just whips through a product and tears things up when it hits it. Oh, let's see. Finally, you've never seen one of these before, at least for air guns, golf ball launcher. So if you have a Zeus 72, uh, probably have my first 50 of these ready in the next week or two. I'm uh, still working out one tiny little kink, but it's minor. And then you'll just basically, if you're out of pellets and want to have some fun, put a golf ball launcher in. Go to some of my older videos and you'll see where I did this for a uh, Sega shotgun. And because of the power of the Zeus, it should be every bit as powerful. And I was taking golf balls and launching them through refrigerators, microwaves, making cinder block explode. So it should be a lot of fun. So there it goes. And I'm gonna finish this very short video with one of these. Let's move the camera on over, get it out of the way. In that tired old microwave, let's see if we can get that centered a bit. And that tired old microwave is an old case of Rotella, never got used. Uh, let it expire. So, we're going to see what this thing will do to a case of Rotella. So if you've ever wondered to yourself, what could a wax round do with some number four buck in it? Count the holes. So we've got five, nine, ten, eleven individual holes. So the round did separate. So the wax did separate in this case. It's cold outside. I think that has a bit of a difference. When it's 90 degrees out, sometimes it doesn't separate. But in this case, you have a bunch of individual holes. And inside, you got some leaking Rotella. You can't see it there, but it went in. And in a couple cases, I may have missed a can, but in a couple cases, it looks like it may have even gone out. So at some point, if you get really bored, you might want to try some of these wax rounds. They are pretty devastating. Uh, anyway, that's about all I got on this video. I'll try to start doing one every few days for the next week or two and just have some fun with it. Anyway, you'll have a Merry Christmas if I don't talk to you soon. Bye-bye.